Hello friends, welcome back. We have already discussed a lot of content on the Intel Open Vino, how to install it, the first version, how to install it, what are the kind of case studies we can have, all those things we have discussed clearly and it received good reception as well. Now it's time to upgrade ourselves. Intel has come up with 2022.1 Open Vino and it is the best I would say. I'm going to walk you through with the installation process, I will also show you how do we run the samples and the tutorials which are available, examples which are available in the Git and this session would be useful for you, I believe. Now, Intel clearly says that with the Open Vino 2022.1 version, they are having the idea to simplify, simplify and simplify further, I mean to reduce the complexity and to get the developers the best they can innovate with and create with and solve problems. They are making life simpler. That's in one word I can tell you what OpenVINO 2022.1 is targeted at. What are the things that come up with OpenVINO 2022.1? There are multiple things, but I'm going to uh, go through with the notable features or the highly table features. It comes with new OpenVINO API 2.0, which certainly makes the life of developers easier to adapt and to maintain the code, switch between the frameworks and to reduce complexity. Now, this is the best I would say, and I'm sure you would love it when you start using it. Second is we have got the broader model support, which is very, very important. And this broader model support brings in support towards the natural language programming models, advanced computer vision and paddle paddle projects. And most importantly, the portability and the performance updates are also present in the OpenVINO 2022.1 version. And we always know that OpenVINO has got support for multiple AI frameworks and it is better here. We have got the support for TensorFlow, Cafe, Pytas, MXNet, Keras, and ONNX. All this comes with OpenVINO 2022.1. Well, how are we going to use it? How are we going to install it? That's going to be very important and I'm going to show you that right away, right now. It's very simple and easy. The materials are available all here and it's going to be pretty simple for you. And I will give you the links that you can go ahead and download and all these are presented in the description section. The first thing is you can go ahead and install the OpenVINO with the installers that are available for online and offline installation. The choice is absolutely yours. You can choose the best one that suits you. If you have internal connectivity which is consistent, stable, go ahead with online mode. If you feel that no, it's not so, you can go ahead with offline mode. But before you go ahead with installation of OpenVINO 2022.1, there is a prerequisite that you need to meet and that's nothing but the Visual Studio installation and 2019 is the version that they demand for. So please keep your system ready with installation of Visual Studio Microsoft 2019 and that's the only dependency that we need. Well, once it is done, we can go ahead with the installation of OpenVINO and I am clicking the extract button right away here. And there will be installer which will check your system requirements and it will launch automatically. Here is the check which is going on and you will see that the plethora of options that are available in front of you and OpenVINO inference runtime, what are the things included? The OpenVINO inference engine runtime for CPU, processor graphics, Movidius, Gaussian neural accelerator, Intel Vision accelerator design with Intel Movidius VPDUs. All these are going to be with you right now and you can try the best of the innovation with you. I accept the terms and conditions and I'm going with the installation. You can also customize the installation which I didn't want to do at this point of time. But again, you can try it if you want. I give consent to collection of the information because it will certainly be helpful for Intel to come up with better results in the future. So I click continue and that's all it's going on. So uh, CMake version 3.10 or higher is not detected. So what do we do is very simple. We can do this later after completing this part of installation we can use the installation gate to install this dependency. So it's pretty easy. And if you are using Microsoft Visual 2019, you are required to install CMake 3.14. We will install it later and nothing is a problem here. In, in this particular scenario, in this particular term, we need not bother much now, so we can do it even afterwards. So let me continue the installation. It will go on, it will keep moving on. And you could see that it's really faster. And that's all, almost we are done with it. So the installation of Intel OpenVINO is almost done. You can see that the following tools have been successfully installed. Intel distribution of OpenVINO toolkit v2022.1.0. So it is done. So I finish it. Now what next? We need to understand how do we use really the OpenVINO available tutorials and how do we learn out of it. That's what I'm going to show you right now and it's going to be really stunning and easy for you to understand as well. 
So you need to go to the GitHub link that I have pasted, that I have given in the description section. There are a lot of open Vino notebooks available for you, which can be called as tutorials. And you can run it with the options as Windows, Linux, Ubuntu, I mean Red Hat, CentOS, Azure ML, Docker. Since I have already installed the open Vino with Windows, I am taking up the same option. First thing you need to remember is please have the Python installed with you 3.78 or 9. I have a 3.9 version available with me and please make sure that the environment variables are all set properly. I am going to the same right now to check if the path is added properly. Yes, it is added and done. So I can close it and come back to the part where I can go ahead with the installation. Now I need to install Git. Yes, Git is required because we are going to access the content out of it and Git is required. Please download for the Windows version and keep it up and running. Now what's the next step? I need to go ahead with the Microsoft Visual C++ installation. I have already downloaded that. I need to install it and the moment you install it, it will all be easy. Uh, so the kit is to be first installed as I told you and the installation will not take a lot of time. So I'm showing it again. So I can see that here. Next, next, next. That's all. That's it. So it removes the previous version of the kit and it installs it for you again. You could see that it takes a very little time for the installation based on your uh, hardware and based on your internet speed, things will go really faster. So the Git is done. The next thing is to go ahead with the Microsoft Visual C++ and that's to be installed. So I have already downloaded it and kept it ready. I'm redoing it for your reference. So since it is already installed, it is asking me to uninstall and then install it again. I don't want to do that since it is installed already. Let's go ahead with that. Now let's go ahead and now start using the command prompt and there certain things are to be done. So we are going to set the environment variables as per the requirement and I open my command prompt and see the path. The path is important. It will take less than half a minute for you to complete all this and I'm going to activate the environment right now. So I'm going to do that and you could see that I'm just copy pasting the command, follow the guidelines. That's done in a very neat way. The guidelines are given in a very, very neat way and I'm certain that anybody will find it easy. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone the uh, repository. So the commands are given, just try it out and it will be done. So it takes half a minute for uh, trying out the prerequisites. And this process may take a little bit of time here. As you can see, it is completely cloning all the content and it takes time. So I'm fast forwarding this section. So it takes a lot of time, about 10 minutes it took for me to completely get everything up and running. And you could see that once it is done, it's all easy for you. And now comes the time for us to test if we can go ahead and see the samples. There are multiple samples which are listed. So I'm taking the first sample, which is a hello world sample. The moment you click it, it will be launched in a Jupyter and uh, Jupyter, no Jupyter uh, engine will be loaded there. The Jupyter notebook will be loaded there immediately. And you could see that you are getting the first sample available in front of you. It will it will load itself completely. It may take a couple of times. That's how I experienced it. So it will get itself completely loaded. Don't worry, don't bother about it reloading. So you can see that it's all available here and you can try running it. So this is the way they have given at least 50 samples are available there as far as I know. And you can go ahead and test all of them. As I told you, it may take a couple of times for it to completely load fully. And once it is done, it will be very easy for you to test it out. I have tested two, three samples and all of them are really, very nice. So hello image classification is here. There are uh, the, the, the advancement happens this way from start till complex concepts. It's there. They have been taken in a very nice way. So you can see that um, very simple inferencing is happening here and flat coated retriever. So that's that's the output for you. So all these are tried out and all of them are giving really fantastic output and you can try it out and this could also help you in building something more and over and above whatever we have in hand. Now that's the best part of it. So make sure that you guys try it out and if you have any questions in this, let me know. I can help you. I'm taking the second sample for you, the second tutorial available for you. Uh, so I'm loading it again. It may take a couple of times for it to reload and then get settled. Don't worry about it. So you have got the things loaded. You can also load all the notebooks in Jupyter Lab. The options are available in the same page, which I have given in the description. And please go through the kit. There are a lot of contents, real lot of contents, which will be very helpful for you to understand and to go ahead with further learning. So you can see that it's real plethora of resources. Uh, in the tutorials, you can see 
in the jupyter notebooks you will be getting all the uh, available samples here with code with explanation most importantly so you can try out all these and expand this further as well and intel open we know is really simple so you can start trying out it's it's all going to be fun and learning for you post estimation object detection all these are there try out guys it will be real fun so i'm running it now so for a sample i did not explain you how the code works but i'm telling you how to use it on the whole so try it out that's all i hope it was interesting uh, setting up open we know was conveyed uh, how to use the samples was conveyed if you have any questions go ahead and type it in the comment section i'll be very glad to answer the questions and thank you very much